Hey guys, this lesson's on electric potential and electric potential energy. So, let's get into a problem. So, let's say we have, like this right here, we have an area like this where we have a constant electric field of 65 um, in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. And we want to measure the electric potential from A to B. Okay, so we need to write down as, uh, the equation for electric potential, which is written as volts. So delta V equals negative electric field times change in distance. And this is a very important formula. So all we have to do is we already have electric, the electric field. We just need to find the delta L. So if we're trying to find it from A to B, we just um, uh, do final minus initial. So uh, for the x direction, 0.7 uh, minus negative 0.1. And for the y direction, 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. So our delta L is going to equal um, 0.8 and 0. Okay, so, okay, that's what our delta L is equal. So now that we have that and that, we need to find the dot product of these. So the way to find the dot product is you multiply the, t the x components, and then you multiply the y components, and then add those two together. And if you have a z component, and then you also multiply the z components and add those together. So our two x components for L and um, delta L and E for this one is 65 and 0.8 and when you multiply those together you get I guess let me just write it out first so, times 65 so that's our two x components plus 0 and 0 because those are two y components plus I guess I'm just going to do 0 and 0 because those those could be our z components. If there's no z component, you can just put it down as a no change in z component. So you actually don't even need this. But um, okay, so when you add all that up, um, when you multiply these two together, you get 52 volts. And remember, you have to negative it. So this is going to be negative 52 volts. So and that will equal our volt. And um, so what that gave us is the voltage drop from A to B. Now, um, another kind of important thing is if we're looking for, well, uh, how much energy would it take to, burn, to uh, take a proton from A to B? Well, energy, or potential energy at least, equals volts times a charge. Oops. Times a charge. So if we know that it's negative 52 volts, volts, and we're trying to take a proton from here to here, then we just do negative 52 volts times the charge of a proton which is 1.6 e to the negative 19th coulombs. And when you multiply those two together, you get 8.32 e to the negative 17th joules. And that's how you figure out voltage, uh, to figure out how much energy it takes to take something across there, and that's how you figure how much voltage uh, from one point to another. Now I've got another problem, which is kind of a, kind of similar, but a different scenario. So let's say we have this now, where we're still trying to find it, uh, the voltage drop from A to B, um, but this time we have a different kind of uh, angle for our E field. So um, we just generally start it in the same same way. We find our delta L, which A minus B, or uh, actually B minus A, which is going to be um, 0.7 minus negative 0.5 times 0 times 0 or 0 minus 0 so our delta L will equal this time will, it will equal 1.2 and 0 for how far we're going and this time our E field equals this so when we cross product these we should do negative 85 times 1.2 plus 25 
because that's our y component, times 0. That's our other y component. Now, the important thing to remember is that voltage drop only acts um, perpendicular, I mean uh, parallel to what's um, the electric field. So if we have um, this electric field going here, or this one going here, and we're going from here to here, it might as well, it has it would have the same voltage drop as an electric field doing this. Just because the Y, the, uh, or the anything other than parallel component doesn't affect it at all, just the perpendicular. So um, that's why this 25, which is the Y component, will just uh, multiply by the change in the Y component, which is zero. So our delta V will end up equaling um, 102. And the reason we got positive is because this will be negative, but again, remember the formula is negative E dot, dot um, delta L, so we have to uh, make it negative. So our delta V will be uh, um, 102 volts. And that's how we figure out our drop. And uh, once again, let's uh, take a proton from A to B and figure out how much energy it takes to move it from here to here. So once again, remember that uh, voltage times charge equals potential energy or uh, equals energy. So we take 102 volts times 1.6 e to the negative 19th coulombs. And that equals 1.6, sorry about this little thing here, 1.632e to the negative 16th joules. And that'll give us how much energy it takes to move something from there to there. And that's how you do problems uh, with uh, potential difference or in potential energy. And uh, if you have any more questions or anything, uh, feel free to drop me a line and I'll get back to you really quickly. And I'll see you next lesson.